All right, now we're going to go ahead and focus on these problems here, guys. These problems in this case, all we're doing for these is we're actually factoring out the expression. We're not going to be canceling things out. We're actually just factoring out the expression. Now, when it comes to factoring, there's a couple things you want to go ahead and check for. First off is you want to go ahead and check for a GCF. That's the first thing we should be checking for, a GCF. Greatest common factor, which is something that you can factor out from all the expressions. From there, um, you actually want to go ahead and check if you could um, do any other type of factoring, which in this case, we could probably do factor uh, factoring um, with diamond method. And depending if your um, leading coefficient is a 1, then we'll actually stop here. But if it's not, then we move on to uh, the grouping method. So those are the first things you want to go ahead and check. So let's go ahead and actually start off in this case with, um, in this case, the uh, 7x squared, 7x to the fifth minus a 21x fourth plus a 14x cubed. Now on this one, like I mentioned, we're going to go ahead and start off first with the GCF. And in this case, once again, GCF is the biggest number that you could divide all the terms by. And it doesn't necessarily focus on the number, it also focuses on variables. So in this case, the biggest number I could divide 7, 21, and 14 by is actually a 7. Because my leading coefficient is positive, our GCF is also positive. Now, if you take a look, each of the terms does have a variable. They all have an x. Um, we're actually going to go ahead and factor the smallest amount. And in this case, our smallest amount is x cubed. So then our GCF will look as follows. This is um, a 7x in the front, 7x cubed, and we open parentheses. Factoring out a 7x cubed from a 7x fifth leaves us with x squared. Minus, in this case, that would be a 3x um, plus a 2. All right, and that's what we have, right? So we factored out the GCF, so that's the first step. Next step you want to go ahead and check is, can we do the diamond method? Or can we perform the diamond method on this expression? And the answer on that is a yes, right? If I were to actually do the diamond method in this case, this is A, B, and C. We have 2 and negative 3. So two numbers that multiply to the top and add to the bottom would actually be a negative 2 and negative 1. So then in this case, the whole expression factored is actually going to be a 7x cubed, which is a GCF, and then x minus a 2 times x minus a 1. In this case, we're not going to be doing the, the grouping method because our leading coefficient is a 1. So that would actually be our answer for the first one. Now, taking a look at the other one in this case, guys, we're going to go ahead and do the same thing. We want to go ahead and do the diamond method on both of these, and you're just going to be writing them together. So, for example, on this one, if I want to do the diamond method on that one, it's what number multiplies to the top, which is 8 times C, which is 4, and adds to the bottom. That's negative 4 and negative 1. And then on this one, I have a negative 9, and our B value is 0. So that would be negative 3 and 3. So this would actually go to being um, X minus 4 times X minus 1 times X minus 3 times X plus 3. And that would actually be our answer. All of this is our answer, all together. And last one in this case is actually using the grouping method on this one. This last one is using the grouping method because we have four terms. You want to go ahead and use grouping. And grouping in this case actually focuses on factoring out the GCF from uh, two, two terms in this case and then putting them together again at, with another GCF. So I'm going to go ahead and group these two and then group this one. I'm going to add a plus sign in the middle just so we know that this is still adding. All right. Um, GCF in this case of the first expression here is an x squared. GCF of this one is actually a negative 2. And it's negative because the leading coefficient here is negative. So factoring that, we would actually have um, an x squared and then x minus 8. And then we factor out our GCF of negative 2, and we're left with x minus 8. From there, we check for our last GCF, and our last GCF in this case would actually be the expression x minus 8, because that's what they have in common. So our final answer for the expression completely factored would be x minus 8, which is a GCF, and then whatever was left on the outside becomes the second expression. And that would be our answer.